I speak to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Last week, uh, we began by uh, asking ourselves some questions. They had to do with why are we here? Why does what we do here matter at all? And that uh, kind of uh, makes it sound as though everything that goes on here is because we choose to do it. I'm here to tell you that it's not all about you. It's actually all about God. God has fallen in love with you. Every one of you. God is like the boy or girl next door. You've known that person forever. They played with you in the sandbox when you were a little kid. You shared chocolate chip cookies fresh out of the oven and a glass of cold milk after school. They helped you pass your math test or write your English essay. And if anybody asked you, oh, they're a friend, that's what you would say. They're a friend, just a friend. And off you went to do your life. And you might have uh, had lots of really good friends. And then one day, you came home, probably on a holiday, you know, Christmas, Easter, something like that, maybe for the summer. And God dropped by, knocked on the door to say hi, and you saw that smile, and you said, This is the one. This is the one. And God smiled back to you because God already knew. He knew, she knew, that she was your one true one. And that you were going to spend the rest of your lives together. God has fallen in love with you, and you have fallen in love with God. And all those little glimpses, those little kind of heartbeats that happened that drew you what a life of faith is about. 
is about conversations that go to three in the morning. Prayer. Meals shared. Worship. Walks on the beach. Just silent solitude with one another. And then there are then there's the photo album. Scripture. The photo album is when you sit beside, like really close beside, and you start flipping through the history that maybe you didn't know anything about. And you see the photo and you go, how did you get that black eye? Oh, that was my brother. He, he had a fight with me. And it was the day we were having the family pictures taken. And, well, my mom just said, ah, too bad. That's just what's going to happen. And there's all this discovery about who this loved one is. And then there's this, this uh, guy, Jesus, and he is able to show us what falling in love with God looks like. Because Jesus was the one who was able, through his life and death and resurrection, was able to show us just, wow, how amazing loving God can be. Scary, amazing, but amazing, all the same. And so it's not just about us choosing God, actually. It's about us recognizing that God already chose us. And that we, in loving God, are following His commandments, God's commandments. And that those commandments, we know, are just kind of shrunk down to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And we, we understand that loving God with all of who we are leads us into this great adventure and love affair that we have with God for the rest of our days. Augustine wrote, You have created us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until we rest in you. Now the interesting thing about Augustine is, Augustine did not find God easily. In fact, uh, even though he was raised in a Christian home, his mother was Christian, uh, uh, Augustine really did not want to go there. In fact, he's the one that said, Lord, make me chaste, but not yet. And uh, Augustine got around, you might say. And, and, and don't we all sometimes get around? In the sense that we look for God in all the wrong places. And there comes that point where we say, you know, it ain't here. It isn't in the career. It's not in, even in my family, it's not there. It's not, it's not even in my appreciation of, of, of the natural world or all of that. It's, it's in God and, and, and we are not at rest until we acknowledge that and go there and learn and deepen through life, uh, through our experiences within the faith. Now we have the sort of spiritual discipline side of our faith, which is like the prayer, the worship, the, the scripture, but there's also the uh, discovery of God in the people of our lives. In the people that God has brought into our lives, who share their lives with us, who share their faith with us, who become almost, um, uh, you know,
you know, the, the boy next door's best buddy? <laughs> That's what sometimes the people become, is the best buddies. And then we share that sense of God with the people in our lives. And what I'd like to do is to leave you with this today. Nothing is more practical than finding God, than falling in love in a quite absolute final way. What you are in love with, what seizes your imagination, will affect everything. It will decide what you will get out of bed in the morning, what you do with your evenings, how you spend your weekends, what you read, who you know, what breaks your heart, and what amazes you with joy and gratitude. Fall in love. Stay in love. And it will decide everything. Thanks be to God.